Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Miracle. Be me for short. If this is the first time seeing my beautiful face, you're welcome. So, our next video is from Office Tanson, and it said the 95 year old veterinarian, veterinarian kicked out of home and replaced by illegal migrants. Wow. Let's check this video out. It was very disgraceful what they did to the people in Island Shores. They gave us time to get out, but they never said when, and they never said they were going to get us out. And then one day, there's a thing on the board, a notice on the board, you got to be out by March 15th. I think that gave us like a month and a half to yeah. find out where we are going to go. This video is brought to you by Pure Talk, brought to you by Pure Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready to replace your cell phone, is it time to replace your cell phone? Do you need to replace your cell phone? The battery life sucks. The screen is cracked. Come on, give yourself the best opportunity possible with the brand new 5G Samsung Galaxy phone with Pure Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll get a free 5G Samsung Galaxy phone with two days of battery life edge to edge display ultra strong gorilla glass when you sign up today with pure talk unlimited talk unlimited text 15 gigs of data for only 35 dollars a month plus it comes with mobile hotspot so get all the data that you will ever need and get a free cell phone on the mo most reliable network the 5g network so make the switch to my cell phone company pure talk today Customer service is off the chain right here in the United States of America. All you have to do is dial pound 250 and say Brandon Tatum. That's pound 250. Say Brandon Tatum. Get you a free Samsung phone today. Ladies and gentlemen, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Check this video. Let's get into this. The migrant issue in our country is absolutely out of control. You know, one thing that I, that I see that's happening and I think we shouldn't be delusional about it, is that they are literally trying to create a new population of people that can vote for them. Biden can see very clearly that he's losing the battle of ideas, he's losing the battle of economic success, and most people are disgruntled about his leadership as the dead president of the United States of America. And he needs to replace them with new bodies. The black vote is going to dwindle um, from the from the Democrat Party. It, that's just the way it is. They're going to either dwindle through becoming uh, disgruntled enough not to vote, or they're going to vote Republican. We just saw that the mayor of the, the the great city of Dallas, Texas, decided to switch his party affiliation from Democrat to Republican. We saw uh, uh, what's her name in Arizona. I forget her name. Dressing like a hoochie mama when she go in Congress. I forget her name. It'll come to me here in a second. But she switched her party affiliation from Democrat to Independent. Kristen Cinema. Kristen Cinema. So, you know, when you look at those things that are occurring, you see that the Democrat parties are losing a lot of a lot of traction, forcing mandates on uh, vaccinations. I mean, all of these things that the people are waking up to their behaviors. Um, it's causing them to lose traction. But what do they want to do in exchange? They want to get as many illegal aliens into this country and they give them aid, give them housing, even even destroying cities. It was very disgraceful what they did to the people in the island shores. They gave us time to get out, but they never said when, and they never said they were going to get us out. And then one day, there's a thing on the board, a notice on the board. You gotta be out by March 15th. I think that gave us like a month and a half to yeah. find out where we're gonna go. I thought my suitcases were gonna be on the curb because I'm not that fast. <laughs> if it wasn't for my daughter, they would have been on the curb. <laughs> but that's what it happened. And uh, that was it. I said, no, 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 you're not moving me. 
And they said, yes, 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 we are. And it, uh, everything was done behind closed doors. Yeah. We didn't have a chance to actually make any attempt to stop them because there wasn't enough time. Nobody should, should be subject, subject to this. Scott Herkert lives right next to the former St. John Villa Academy turned emergency migrant shelter. The city built showers for the shelter right against his backyard. He has been at the center of the neighborhood pushback against placing migrants here across from the school, which may now become a bigger battle. I knew from the beginning this wasn't a checkers game, it was a chess game. In his ruling ordering migrants out of St. John Villa, Staten Island Judge Wayne Ozzie wrote that the guarantee of a bed to anyone who comes to a city shelter was never meant to be applied to migrants. It was only, quote, to provide housing for unfortunate New Yorkers who needed shelter. That right to shelter decree did not envision homeless from China and Korea and Venezuela. It meant the homeless within the city of New York. It was never meant to accommodate uh, a group that could fill two Yankee stadiums or one fifth the population of Staten Island and will, as we said last year, be unsustainable, which is what it is. The judge also questioned whether or not Mayor Eric Adams truly has the emergency powers to be housing and feeding 10,000 migrants coming each month. He says the mayor invited the emergency by offering services. The mayor and governor have openly questioned in recent months if indeed the right to shelter should apply to newly arrived migrants. But City Hall says it will appeal this ruling out of concern it might land families and children sleeping on the street. Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis cheered the judge's ruling, saying this should be a turning point in the migrant crisis. This is a true test right now to see where the mayor truly stands. Is he going to stand with the hardworking, taxpaying citizens of New York? Or is he going to stand with the citizens of other countries, 120 different countries, that have come to New York City demanding free housing? It's hard to say at this hour how quickly the city will be able to appeal or if they'll actually have to vacate the shelter for any period of time before that appeal is held. Uh, for instance, when there was a temporary protective order issued by this judge saying this shelter couldn't be used, the judge got in front of a higher judge and got that overturned very quickly within a couple of hours. So we'll see in the next few hours or days here how this plays out. They can get 15 million people in this country or, you know, at the rate they're going, if they can get, I mean, you got to think since Biden's been in office, it's probably been about eight. 10 million people. Hey, let me not say that. It's been 2 million this year so far. So I would I would argue that we have probably had about 5 million people come into this country illegally. And if you got 5 million people and all of them will vote for you all around the country or even in these swing states, right? You go into Chicago, Illinois, you go into New York, you get these people sprinkled around Texas and all these other places, give them mass amnesty. Now you have a voting block. Now you have a voting block for the next generation. The same thing as Lyndon uh, B. Johnson said, that he'll have these Negroes voting for him for 200 years, or voting Democrat for 200 years, that 200 years is, is starting to be up. And they're starting to lose, lose traction of the black vote. And they want to get the Hispanics or the illegals voting for them for 200 years. What do they do? Give you a handout. Hook you on the government system. They don't care nothing about your autonomy. They don't care nothing about your sovereignty. As a citizen, they care more about linking you in to the big government system Therefore, you will be dependent upon them forever. And that is their objective. That's why the immigration is the way it is. Nobody with common sense think it makes sense for people to just barge in our country. Listen, we can't say, we're not making a dent in the world hunger population, you know, or in the population of people who need a better opportunity. We're not making a dent. There's billions of starving people in this, in this world. We're not even making a dent. So why would we ruin our country just to not even make a dent? The real solution is to help people where, they're, where they are at. You don't want to help people come to America. You want to help them where they're at so they don't come to America. That's what we really should be doing, if we do anything at all. To be honest, I think it's good to be philanthropic and it's good to be engaged with, with helping people all over the world, but you have to prioritize yourself first. We have to prioritize America first. I don't know how many times I have to say this. You shouldn't even be able to be the president of the United States of America if you don't sign a, a, a piece of paper, a contract saying, or raise your right hand and say, I will put America first. In everything we do, we put America first. That means that if the world is burning down and everybody's dying all over the world, 
that ain't got nothing to do with us unless we have our stuff together first. And it's very simple. America is like your house. The southern border is like your front door. You don't just let people come in your house. And then, to be honest, you can't effectively help other people if you can't help the people that's already in your house. How stupid of a man are you that you would have your family struggle just to bring outside people in your house and feed them? That makes no sense. Because once you get to the point where you can't sustain your own family, you definitely can't help nobody else. The point it is to become stable, no and then then you can start helping other people become stable. An unstable, an unstable person can't can't help people become stable. A double-minded yes. man is unstable in all his ways. You have to be self-focused, yes. a central focus on what is best for America. If you are, are struggling in your country and you, you eating out the trash can and you're pooping mm -hmm. all over the streets, don't come to America first. Once we good and we feel like we sufficient, we'll maybe let a few of y'all in and, 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 and work from there. And then we may let a few of y'all in next month. But we ain't finna let you just... I, I don't understand. We just, I'm just watching these people just bombard through our border. And, you know, if, if you wanted to call it racist... Is it racist? I think it is. People from Africa don't have an opportunity to come here like the people from South America do. So y'all prioritizing Mexican and South American people over black Africans. Who do y'all really care about? There's migrants from other countries that are that are uh, European countries. They, can't, they don't have an opportunity to come here. Y'all are really selective on letting migrants come in here from South America. And I tell you what, man, if you don't assimilate to America, get your, get your out of here. If you don't come into America and assimilate, get your narrow behind out of our country. I wish we can do that for people that live here, that are citizens. You don't want to be a part of this American experiment. Man, get up out of here. Yes. We don't want you here. We don't Correct. need you here. You're messing up the whole team. You're messing up the camaraderie. Get your narrow butt out of here if you're not going to do what's right. Let me look at a couple of these clips that I have. I, I want to I wanna play a clip uh, for Donald Trump complaining about migrants with cell phones. I mean, Donald Trump get it. And that's why that's why his, his numbers are higher than Joe Biden's, because he get it. Roll clip one with Trump. Biden puts China first, Mexico first, Ukraine first, Europe first, Asia first, illegal aliens first, above our great veterans, you know that. Puts the illegal aliens above our veterans. Our veterans live like hell. And uh, you know what, you see what's happening. You ever see the illegal aliens that one, the weirdest thing, they come in by the tens of thousands, sometimes a day, and they all have, they have cell phones. I'm saying, where do they get the cell phones? Everybody has a cell phone. They're all talking on these beautiful cell phones, and they're expensive ones, too. They're nice ones. Somebody who's into that said, those are good phones. And then I say, who, pay, who pays their bills? Who's paying the bills, Marjorie? Do you want to check that? I'll give it to Marjorie. She'll figure that one out fast. No, but you ever notice? They're all coming in with cell phones. Our veterans don't have cell phones, do they? But they put illegal aliens first and everyone first, but he puts America last, he puts our military last, he puts our veterans last, he puts workers last, he puts small businesses last, he puts everything that's good and proper last. He puts it last. It's crazy. I put America first every single time, every single time. Very crazy. I ended NAFTA, the worst trade deal ever made, and replaced it with the USMCA, that's Mexico and Canada. The best trade deal ever made in this nation, although I must tell you, my deal with China was very good too, but I don't talk about it because of COVID. I, that was a step too far. Is he right or is he wrong? Come on. Let's keep it 100. You know, the, these, these people are evil. In He's my right. Opinion. He's right. There is no way whatsoever. I, I don't even know. Maybe maybe if I was in office and I actually sat down and talked to people um, that are a part of distributing money and all this, maybe I'll get a better picture of it. But as I stand here, I do not understand how our veterans are not the the best taking care of people in America. Like, if, if you fought for this country, like, you should be taken care of at 100%. Every injury, every mental illness, every counseling session that you need, from, from defending our country, 
you should have 100% for free for the rest of your life. These stupid, these ignorant homeless people that's sitting on the corner smoking drugs all day, they don't want to do nothing for themselves. And I'm saying it's all of them, but the majority of them don't want to do nothing for themselves. They want to sit on the corner and smoke crack all day and not have to listen to anybody's rules and regulations. Screw these people. The veterans should never have to be sitting on the corner. Should never have yeah, to pay for the bills. Yeah, our stuff is just 100% correct. Nothing wrong to do anything for themselves. For this country. Y'all hold the phone. I didn't run out of time. I'll be back after the break. Yeah. Yes. After the dancer is just so correct. I just love what he just said. You, there's fire burning in your house. You cannot leave your fire as fire, uh, you cannot leave your house that is burning to go and quench another person's house that is burning. It's not possible. Like you prioritize yourself first. You prioritize American first. Prioritize your your citizens first. Okay, just like in Nigeria here, with the things going up, going up and down, each and everyone fighting for a subsidy, money falling down, money coming up, da la la. Then our president wants to go and help another country to fight a war when you are not strong, when your country is falling. Ah, it's not possible now. It's not possible. It's just so disgraceful. Even though he was a vet, um, he, even though he was a vet, like they could not even pity him. They could not even look like. The man, the man is old, like they are old. Some of them are 95, 85, 80, 90, 70, just name them. And you're driving them out of their homes. This is just so disgraceful. Truly, truly so disgraceful. Ah, out of their homes. Like, it's not that you're even taking them to a new home or they built new homes for them, nothing. Please look after yourself. First, prioritize yourself first before you prioritize others. I'm not saying you should not help. I'm not saying you should not help. But try to help yourself first. Try to help your citizens first before others come in. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, watch, and subscribe to my channel. And have a nice day here. Bye-bye.